Lee, it's great to see you here back Thank at the you. Alfred Dunhill. Of course, past champion 2003. That's right. Yeah. What do you love most about this event? Uh, I like um, I like a few different things really. The fact that it's Lynx golf, we don't get to play much of that during the year. Um, I like the camaraderie between all the amateurs that come back year after year. It's nice to see the same faces and you know play a different format. Uh, you get used to playing three balls over the first couple of days with pros and and two balls. Whereas in this, you know, you're playing with a couple of amateurs and yeah. you know if, if it's amateurs that you get on really well with, which you know I've always had. Um, you have a good time. You meet some interesting people out here as well. You know, some of the people I've played in the past have included uh, Samuel Jackson, very cool, uh, Michael Douglas, Boris Becker, really? Rude Hullet, people <laughs> like that. And you know, I'm playing with Ronan this year. I played with Chubby a lot. I was going to say partner, this so. year is teenage heartthrob Ronan Keating. Do you know much about him? What's he going to be like? I don't in... think he's a teenage heartthrob anymore. <laughs> he's he's getting heartthrob. getting on a bit now. He's uh, you know late thirties, and uh, I think uh, I think he's a heartthrob to people that were teenagers, but are now yeah, probably like myself, mums of teenagers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about this year then. I imagine not the scores that you were after, but you've played some decent golf. What's yeah, your take played on all right. it? Um, it's been a, a tricky year uh, personally. Um, you know, there's been a lot going on. It's difficult. It's been difficult to focus on the golf, but I've been hitting it all right. And I've had weeks where I've played okay. I maybe not had the breaks um, or just hold the right put at the right time. Um, you know, I've played. I've played okay without really doing anything spectacular. I've won once in Indonesia. Yeah. Played well in the match play. Um, you know, beat Jordan Spieth <laughs> in one of the rounds there. Probably the only time he's lost anything on the golf course. All year, <laughs> nice. But, um, so, but we've seen you kind of start on both the PJ and the European Tour, but yeah. it seems like most of your focus is heading towards the European Tour at the moment. What yeah. do you find the main differences are between the tours? Well, you know, you get, there's, there's more diversity when you're playing the, the European Tour. You know, you're playing lots of different places. The PJ Tour, you, you know, obviously pretty much solely in the United States. So, yeah. you know, that's great. But, um, um, you know, I've always liked the changes and going to different places around the world. I, you know, I've been successful in so many different countries that you know the European Tour maybe suits me a little bit more than the PGA Tour would. And I imagine the Ryder Cup will have a huge influence on the tournaments that you choose to play next year. How much of a focus is that for you? Yeah, quite a big focus. I've never really made the Ryder Cup my primary focus. I've always just tried to play well, and if you play well and have good performances, that gets you in the Ryder Cup team. You know, you see a lot of guys that come out here and they say, I want to make the Ryder Cup team this year, and they got off to a good start, but then they hit like a bit of a wall because it becomes a bit of a block for them. Um, whereas I like it to just, you know, be the byproduct of playing well, you know, qualifying for the team. Yeah, okay, nice. We'll let you hit your second shot. Okay. Catch up with you in a sec. Too far right. So, talking of the Ryder Cup, Darren, obviously your big buddy, he yeah. said that you know each other inside out. What mm -hmm. do you think he will bring to the captain's role next year? Uh, there's going to be a certain flamboyancy about Darren's captaincy, I would have thought. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not just the trousers. Not just the trousers, no. Not just the outfits, on-course outfits. <laughs> I think he's, uh, you know, he's putting all his time and efforts into it, so he'll have, uh, he'll have all bases covered and uh, I don't think there'll be any stone left unturned really with Darren. Um, I think, he, you know, he's thinking about his players that might be in the team now and partnerships and just trying to look at different players so I think he'd be very thorough. You guys have had <laughs> such... <laughs> if I go a bit further I'd say there's certain elements of his life where I think there's a, there's a lot of OCD in there and I think right. he'll, he'll, he'll take that to the Ryder Cup. Where think, have you uh, seen his OCD come out? He's immaculate isn't he? You know well that? yeah the outfits no, say it all yeah, really, don't they? Yeah. But yeah you guys have had such a brilliant partnership in the Ryder Cup. Yeah. What's some of your favourite memories playing with him? Uh, well, we, we've been very successful. Um, we have. And I think three times we've beaten numbers one and two in the world. Whenever it's, whenever they, you know, it, it was Tiger and David Duval. I think Tiger and Jim Furyk and Tiger and Phil Mickelson. We we beat all three of those partnerships in Ryder Cups. Um, so there's never an easy match in a Ryder Cup, but. When you beat the best two players in the world, it's even more special. Is uh, it even possible to explain how that feels when you did that? Um, you just get a, a rush of excitement and a buzz. You've actually, you know, achieved something and, and won a point for the team. Um, all, all 
matches obviously lean the same and all you know all points are vital so you know yeah. if you can it's, it's more of a momentum thing you know if you can beat the, the other team's best pair and it's a bit of a boost for the rest of your team so and just finally i've seen some of the kids here who are really involved with you at the westford academy yeah. just tell us about that because they just love you yeah there are two there's, there's one down uh, in stoke by nayland and then one up near chester so uh, um, you know, like they, they get involved. Weeks like this great from they can come up and see how golf tournaments run and get involved a little bit as well. So, and it's a bit of a break from the schooling, you know, where they're in school in the mornings and practicing in the afternoons. Although yeah. I'm sure they like to be practicing in this weather. Oh yes. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. We'll let you finish up your hole and you. best with of a birdie, luck. hopefully. Of course, no <laughs> doubt. Thanks. <laughs>